Hello guys, let's play some Dark Strike. We are playing as a Zerg against Protoss Zerg Zerg. Uh, sorry. It looks like we are playing um, 2 versus 3. So I will make a lot of circlings, hope, hoping they are not going air. And I put some pain links behind them. And yeah, thank you guys for watching, for commentating. I really appreciate your comments and your positive feedback. It motivates me to make more videos. Thank you very much for that. So he goes uh, mass bin links. So my uh, circlings are really bad. I will put some uh, roaches in front so they can tank the bin links hits. Or I can take also uh, queens for that. Now I will face first the Protoss, then the Zerg, and then the other Zerg. So the Banelings are good against the Zealots. So let's get, get more Roaches. And this is gonna be bad. Ah, oh, nice. Got better than expected. So always watch for the upgrades of the opponent. Oh, he's going air, man. That sucks. So I will face him again. Uh, two next waves. So I will work uh, Hydras. For Hydras, they can shoot the air. Infestors are also really good and we got the cannon so let's gas up And then I don't have any air I hope the cannon will destroy the mutalisks So let's look for the upgrades of the enemy Oh man, he had a really good formation. So let's make high grass behind the roaches. Nice. Special liberator. He already wasted his team, but he can kill this mutas. Nice. He's on 1 1. Is on two, so I will upgrade the level one carapace. Nice. So next wave, I should face the the Zerg enemy, and you can see how much pain leaks the roaches can take. So and also I will upgrade the missile attacks and I don't need that but this is nice in combination with uh, missile attacks level 1 but uh, he killed the whole wave so let's save up this money and counter exactly or let's see which upgrades the enemy wave has It's on level two, so he does doesn't do much damage. Yeah, it was actually close. It was really close. Oh man. <coughs> He 
These mass marines are really nice. So what we should go for now? So I'll face again the the Protoss. So let's make more Hydras and Roaches. The Roaches can tank the Zealots and the Hydras can deal the damage. This is really nice. Mass Marines absolutely shred. Mutas and also the Hydras are very good against Archons. They just evaporate. Nice. So let's go for more Hydras because we will face the Mutas. But I think he will kill them. He already pre steamed his Marines. And he has not so much upgrade. The tanks are really nice addi additional damage output. So let's upgrade to missile attacks level 2 because we have a lot of mutas. Not sure if I should go extractor, another extractor. Let's invest for more units just to secure the middle. He should make some hell beds. But he plays real well. So let's get movement speed. Yeah, let's go also for infestors. Very good against mutas, zealots. And the mass circlings. So let's do more damage with the circlings. And the circling speed. Now you see the infestor is doing a lot of damage to the circlings. And yeah, let's go some lurkers, which are even better against circlings. Yeah, nice. Really, really nice. He plays good. So let's. So let's do more infestors and increase their energy. I wasted the scan. You see now how we they will burn away these circlings. Yeah, nice. The helmets were a uh, really good audition. additional units to tank a lot of damage. So if we're doing well, we we'll go uh, another gas. Yeah, they're doing a lot of damage. The infester to the mutas. Okay. So we should go now air. Because I saw Brute Lords. They are a really good comeback unit.
But next wave we will face uh, the circling wave. Are here. So we will face the mutas and let's go for more infestors then. And I kill them because he has. Um, I have better upgrades than him. Nice, he got demolished. <laughs> And he started also with Viking production. He recognized the brute lord threat. So we face the Protoss. Next time we will face and uh, the circling wave. So let's get more lurkers because they countered the circling's really really hard. He's on 3-3, three, three, really nice. He should take uh, another gas. Nice. He also has Brute Lords. Oh, and the uh, Ultra. Okay, next time we will face the another Zerg, so let's go for air, because he has Brute Lords. Some Ghosts with EMP would be really nice. Yeah, get more energy, because we have a lot of Infestors. And the lurkers are really good against um, the ultras. So let's get more of them. I'm not sure about should I um, put some queens in it. Nice. Ghosts would be nice. So the infestors doing really great damage. Some ravagers are really nice against the archons. He decided to go Thor, I think against the Ultras, they are really nice. He's also on level 3, I will also catch up with them. And the infested Terrans are really, really good against air. Even the tanks survived, which are really, really good against Archons. Doing a lot of additional damage. Really nice round. That's how you can win. With counter, with intelligently put units in your wave. But I'm concerned because of these ultras. I will make ultras on my own. Now. Yeah, this very cheap upgrade. We should mix some um, uh, a raven in it 
and marauders. They're doing a lot of damage, the Ravagers, to the Archons, so we'll get more of them. He's still on the 1-1 uh, one, one upgrades. <laughs> this Lurker is still alive. He's a Slayer. He's on 3-3. Three, three. I have to keep up with the upgrades. And the Ravager is doing so much damage to the Mutas. I will upgrade the air. Nice, looks like we won. Yeah, GG, well played. It's really hard, 2 versus 3. This was a really nice round. He played really, really well. Yeah, and that's how you play Cirque. That's how you play Dark Strike. I hope you learned something. He had, yeah, we had the most money because we have the had the middle, and this was a really nice game. Let's see the score. We did really good. And yeah, please subscribe, please commentate. Thanks for watching, thanks for support, and see ya guys. This was your daily dose of Direct Strike.